Today's lesson is all about conversion. This lesson will teach us how to convert a unit to another unit. Examples of these are kilograms to pounds, seconds to hours, and meters to centimeters. Before we proceed to the conversion, let's first talk about conversion factors. When we say conversion factor, it's a table that shows the standard values of each unit in relation to other units. And that's what you see on your screen right now. And you should be familiar with this because we will be using them later on. So let's have our first example. So we are going to convert 120 meters to kilometer. The first thing that you're going to do is to have your conversion factors. By the way, conversion factors can be found at the back of your calculators, sometimes at the back of your notebooks, especially the math notebooks, and you can also find them in the internet. For our first problem, we are going to convert 120 meters to kilometer. The first thing that you're going to do in converting is identifying the conversion factors. By the way, when you see conversion factors, you can find them at the back of your calculators or at the back of your notebooks, especially math notebooks. And you can also find them in the internet. So conversion factors, we can just put C, F here. And for you to know what conversion factor you're going to use, you should identify the related units in this problem. So you have meters and kilometers. So from meters, you're going to convert that into kilometers. So the conversion factor for that will be um, in every kilometer or one kilometer, you have 1,000 meters. So this is your conversion factor and we are going to use that in converting. After which, you are going to observe the rule that we talked about earlier. That will be given times desired over given. Okay, so given here is 120 meters because that's already um, the known value. So that's 120 meters times your desired unit is kilometer and your given unit is meter so this is where the conversion factors come in so we are going to indicate the values for each unit so in every kilometer or one kilometer you have 1000 meters so you can now convert 120 times 1 you will get 120 and then you divide it by 1000 that will give you 0 0.12 and the unit will be kilometers why kilometers because you can now cancel meters you already cancelled out the given units and we only have kilometer left here so that's the unit for this okay so for our next problem we are going to convert 2.3 kilometers to meters so like our first problem we are going to first identify the conversion factors that we're going to use so cf and first to identify the units that are related in this problem you have meters and kilometers again so we can use the same conversion factors as earlier that is one kilometer equals to one thousand meters so now we can convert that that will be 2.3 kilometers times so on the bottom you're going to put the given unit that's kilometer and on top you're going to place the desired unit that's meter so in one kilometer you have one thousand meters 
cancel cancel 2.3 times 1000 divided by 1 that will give you 2300 meters okay so again let's repeat the operation that will be 2.3 times 1000 divided by 1 2300 meters let's, let's have 16 kilograms to be converted to pounds so first you identify your conversion factors so the associated units here are pounds and kilograms so for your conversion factors you should know that in one kilogram you have 2.20 pounds so this is your conversion factor now let's convert the given values you have 16 kilograms times okay on the bottom you put kilogram because that's your given unit and on top of it you put pounds because that's your desired unit so according to our conversion factor one kilogram is equal to 2.20 pounds so 16 kilogram times 2.20 divided by 1 that will give you 35.2 pounds because you can cancel now kilogram we use pounds this time let us try converting units under time okay so in this problem you have 1.5 hours and you have to convert that to seconds so the first thing that you're going to do is to identify your conversion factor so if you're going to identify our problem you have their hours and seconds okay but we all know that between hours and seconds you have there the minute Okay, so for this problem, we are going to also consider the minutes in our conversion factors. Okay, so for our conversion factor, you will have 1 hour that's equal to 60 minutes. And then for 1 minute, you have 60 seconds. So why do we have to consider minutes here? Because before you convert hours to seconds, you first convert hours to minutes and then minutes to seconds. So let's try to apply that. So you have 1.5 hours times, again, like what I have said, we first convert hours to minutes. So minutes will be our desired unit. And then hours will be your given unit so you can cancel this out now then we will know according to our conversion factor in one hour you have 60 minutes our desired unit is seconds so we are going to convert minutes to seconds so to convert minutes to seconds we put minute here and then seconds on top because that's our final desired unit so according to our conversion factor one minute is equal to 60 seconds so with that you can cancel minutes here you can cancel it out and then cancel this also so for your final answer that will be 1.5 times 60 divided by 1 times 60 divided by 1 so again 1.5 times 60 divided by 1 times 60 divided by 1 and that will give you 5400 and the unit should be seconds For our next problem, we have here a speed of 17 kilometers per hour to meters per second. 
so as you can see we have now two units so this kind of quantity is using derived units so it's a combination of two base units which are kilometers and hour or meters and second okay so how are we going to convert that before we proceed to the conversion factors or identifying the conversion factors we should know that 17 kilometers per hour is the same with this structure 17 kilometers over hour okay so for our conversion factors we are going to use um, the conversion factors of different units so we have kilometers to meters and we also have hours to seconds so for our conversion factors we all know that one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters and one hour that's equal to 60 minutes and one minute that's equal to 60 seconds to convert the given values we are going to use this structure of the given so that will be 17 kilometers over hour times so the first task that you're going to do is to convert kilometers to meters so to cancel kilometers out it should be here and then your desire is meters so according to your conversion factor one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters so one and then here is 1000 so you can now cancel out kilometers and then after that you all you are going to convert hours to seconds because that's your desired unit so how are you going to do that first you convert hours to minutes okay so we are going to use our second row of conversion factor so since hour is on the bottom of the given to cancel that out it should be on top of this bar so hour and then here is the minute so in every hour you have 60 minutes and next we are going to convert minutes to seconds so our goal is to cancel out minutes and have the final unit which is seconds so since minutes is on the bottom of this bar so take a look at this part 60 minutes is on the bottom of this bar so to cancel that out the minutes on the next bar should be on top of it so it should be here and then our desired unit should be here so that should be um, seconds and we all know that in every minute or one minute you have 60 seconds so you can now cancel out minutes here so by the way we can also cancel out hours there so the units left now are meters on top and then seconds on the bottom so for our final answer you have meters on top and then seconds on the bottom so that's our desired unit right so that will be 700 kilometers times 1000 divided by 1 times 1 divided by 60 times 1 divided by 60 and you will have your final answer so let's do this with arrows so you have 17 kilometers times 1000 meters divided by 1 times 1 divided by 60 times 1 divided by 60 and that will give you 4.72 meters per second so if you're going to convert 17 kilometers per hour to meters per second that should be 4.72 meters per second mm -hmm.